So now the question is, what are we and what is the government doing about these issues? Louisville Metro has its health department and it just got a new director. So I'm Dr. Sarah Moyer. I am a family physician who started with the health department two and a half years ago now as the medical director. She's worked with the department for a long time and she led the successful syringe exchange program back in 2015. The health department has a plan in place called Healthy Louisville 2020 and anyone can look at it online. They're tackling pretty much every public health issue. The plan was, I guess, the community coming together and what they wanted to focus on. And so we gave um, goals and suggestions on how the community could improve it. And so been partnering and tackling it almost like one step at a time. So where are they at with this plan? So it's been almost all over the board. Um, we've made great progress in some areas like access to care and then there's other areas like obesity that have gone the wrong direction. She's right. The city tracks their progress publicly online and for a lot of it, it doesn't look that good. Like Dr. Moyer said, obesity rates have gone up, but Dr. Moyer says that smoking is one area that has improved. Here at the health department, I guess over the last couple of years, we really, um, dove into smoking, for example, for one. In 2005, the first smoke-free ordinance was passed, and then after that, we added e-cigarettes um, for minors in 2014. You weren't allowed to sell e-cigarettes to minors um, in 2014. And then just this year, in 2017, we added um, e-cigarettes and hookah. A way to decrease rates even further would be to raise taxes on cigarettes. Here's where we have one major roadblock. Kentucky is unique in that we can't our laws can't be stronger than the state laws is how I've been told. I'm not a lawyer, so, but we can't look at any local tax until the tax structure on the state level has changed. This is clearly a huge obstacle. Kentucky is one of 16 states where cities cannot impose their own sales tax. Mayor Fisher wants to change this because he supports local option, a move to get local sales tax that would fund certain projects. The health director says if they could raise the taxes, they would. The government has improved on smoking, but diet and fitness are another story. Dr. Moyer says that the health department has focused mostly on diet. It's also um, an acute risk factor for all health outcomes, diabetes, heart attacks, strokes, COPD, everything. Um, and so anything about changing that system to have access to healthy food is definitely something the health department's looking at. She sees fitness going hand in hand with diet. But she also says that things like violence reduction is a focus that would lead to safer communities where people would be more willing to exercise. The government has been very good about being both a convener and a reflection of some of these grassroots and organic movements that are popping up around the area of health in our region. Steve Tarver with the Y works a lot with the government and says that a few years ago they put in place an initiative to get fresh produce in corner stores around downtown Louisville. But this initiative hasn't had momentum in a few years. Karen Moskowitz, CEO of New Roots, does agree with Dr. Moyer's overall focus, but she says that the government isn't doing enough. If the city was serious about health equity and understood that fresh food is one of the basic building blocks of health, we would get not only funding and support in the budget, which we don't get, we would also get full support with um, outreach and media and, you know, being invited into spaces. The community has to organize amongst ourselves to then be able to push Louisville Metro toward true um, health equity and, and food equity through a local food policy council. Karen says that New Roots and other grassroots organizations have the tools and systems to make a change in food access, and that the government needs to set up a council with representatives to help make the activism on a grassroots level a reality. Dr. Moyer says that she and the health department are all for ideas like this, but Karen says that in the past, she hasn't seen that coming from the health department. Another important thing to mention, three major international fast food companies, Yum Brands, KFC, and Papa John's, all have their headquarters in Louisville. Karen says this has some major effects on culture and attitude towards food in the city. Clearly, there's a disconnect in communication between the city government, grassroots organizations, and the people of Louisville.